Officers warned people to keep away from the towpath, fearing the beast could be a danger to the public. Mike Williams, a curator at Dudley Zoo, was sent to the area with a dart gun to stun the animal if necessary. Police officers with tracker dogs spent the day searching the canal bank and nearby woodland, but to no avail. They searched their records for registered owners of such animals and in the area, but also with no success. Peter Waite, curator of mammals at Chester Zoo, warned, if the creature is a puma or cheetah, it could be extremely dangerous if cornered. As the search entered its third day, the beast attacked a dog being walked by a girl near Biles Lane. On the afternoon of July 25th, the search party tracked the animal along the disused railway line running through Castlecroft towards Penn. At one point Mr. Williams caught a brief glimpse, but did not get close enough to positively identify it. Woodland between Compton and Aldersley was also scoured, but fresh sightings led police to switch their attention to Womburn on July 26. Whatever it was then apparently moved on to Dunstall, and later Womburn, said a police spokesman. Large paw prints were also reportedly seen near First Street on Penn Common. A statement at the time said, We have had police out early, but there have been no more sightings. Dudley zookeeper Alan Margerison, who also saw the animal, went out in the search area with a photograph of a puma in an attempt to identify the animal. Both experts described the animal they saw as about the size of a large dog, but cat-like in both its appearance and its movement. But Mr. Williams said he could not confirm it was a puma until he either got a close look at it. He believed the likelihood was that someone had been keeping the puma illegally. After five days the hunt was called off, although police stressed they were ready to resume the search if there were any more sightings. Chief Inspector Jim Poundney, head of Womburn Police, concluded the animal was more likely to be a large dog or a large male fox. We would have expected that, if reports of these sightings were correct, that such an animal would have needed to feed said Chief Inspector Poundney, but we have received no reports of any livestock being attacked in the area. However, if anyone does see anything which he thinks could be a large cat or puma, it should be reported at once to the police, and we will send someone to investigate. The trail went cold for a while, then the hunt switched to Powers in Mid Wales after a large cat-like animal was spotted at Pent Drain Farm, near Langerig, shortly after four sheep had been savagely killed and half-eaten. Noises were heard coming from a barn, where the animal was thought to be hiding. Police believed it was the same animal seen in Wolverhampton. Police marksman and an RSPCA man with a tranquilizer gun surrounded the barn on the night of October 23rd, and waited for the beast to make the first move. The following day they were still waiting. We assume now that it is a large cat, possibly a puma or lynx, said police. If that's right, you're talking about a body weight of 200 pounds and claws like bloody needles. If there's something there that's capable of killing sheep and eating half a carcass on the spot, you're thinking in terms of not going in too quickly. I think it's a case of stand well back, and keep your eyes peeled. And then the story went quiet. By the following day, the news agenda had moved on. It seems people were more concerned about a bad taste Halloween party at a Wolverhampton nightclub, Tom Baker's replacement as Doctor Who, and the impending death of Doris in the Archers. It is probably safe to assume that there was no puma in the barn. Given that Welsh newspapers continued to speculate about the beast some time later, and then the story took a fresh twist. On December 21st, the animal was spotted again, but back in the Wolverhampton area, this time in Coven. Michael Pollock and his wife Debbie were driving back to their home in Broadacres when they spotted an animal in Lawn Lane. We saw it in full beam of our headlights, said Mrs. Pollock. We both straight away thought it was some sort of wild cat. Mr. Pollock called police when the couple arrived home and the following day they returned to the scene with police officers, to show them the tracks. Officers took plaster casts of paw prints found where the animal had been spotted. Jean Delaney, of Humphreys Crescent, in the Bradley area of Bilston, also reported seeing a large animal running along a canal towpath behind her home. I heard a strange noise outside, she said. At first I thought it was someone crying for help, said Mrs. Delaney. Then I thought it must be an animal and when I looked out of the window I saw it running along the old canal. Mrs. Delaney said she and her husband initially thought it was a large fox, but then noticed it ran like a cat. The trail again went cold, until March 15, 1981, when a family of four in Purton spotted the creature while tucking into their Sunday lunch. The family were sitting in the dining room of their newly built home in Rockingham Drive when they spotted the animal. Near their home was a partially built house, 
and the family watched the animal climb the scaffolding which surrounded it before jumping into the house through an open window. They described the animal as being about four feet long and dark brown. The time elapsed between the sightings and the fact that Mr. Hall saw a black animal, whereas the Pollocks described a brown creature suggests it is unlikely to be the same one. What became of the beast? No body of a big cat has ever been discovered, which probably adds credence to the theory that people had seen a large fox or dog, although those who witnessed it were in no doubt about what they saw. Jeff Lewis insists, some people have suggested these are nothing but large domestic cats. Believe me that is not the case, not four feet long. A rash of sightings close to Ludlow in 2021 led an organization called Puma Watch to conclude, undoubtable big cat sightings in Shropshire. In 2018, teaching assistant Don Page captured compelling footage of a large feline close to bins at her Oldbury home. Unlike so many other captured images, the video provided the vital ingredient of scale. The cat's size could be measured against objects next to it. Without that, a household margia can easily be mistaken for something a lot more savage. I thought it was a big dog, Don said, but it moves just like a cat. I took the footage into work and asked some of the teachers what they thought. They agreed it looks like a leopard or she lion. I've got a little dog and I'm absolutely terrified for her safety. Back in 2010, retired union officer Andrew Hall contacted police after being startled by what he believed to be a black panther resting in a tree bordering his Wednesday field home. Don, Andrew and the scores of fellow eyewitnesses saw something. Their belief it was a big cat is unshakable. What they actually observed has divided critics. The jury remains out. A covering of snow brings a glut of large paw picks. They are the imprints made by rabbits, not pumas, panther or even lions. One apparently convincing image circulated on the line clearly showed two indentations at the front made by a bunny's front legs with one at the back. It's rare. The vast majority of paw marks captured on film feature claws. Therefore the animal is a dog. Cats have retractable claws and never bear them when walking. Canines do not. Are wild, exotic cats out there? Most definitely, though most could not be termed big, and their presence may have more to do with criminality than cryptozoology. One senior West Midlands detective, a big cat believer said, you can get anything into this country. For some years, owning a big cat was something of a status symbol for criminal hierarchy blame Mike Tyson. Some of those pets escaped. Have the beasts bred in our countryside? Not a chance. We have proof the animals are, or certainly have been, with us. On February 3, 1989, an Asian jungle cat, actually, not much larger than a domestic moggy, was discovered dead on the roadside at Richard's Castle, Ludlow. There have been others. A puma was shot in Inverness in 1980, a lynx captured in Cricklewood a year later, all are believed to have been on the run from captivity. The British Big Cat Society claims to have evidence of 23 big cat releases into the countryside after the Dangerous Animals Act came into force. The same organization caused a storm in 2005 when revealing a puma skull discovered by a Devon farmer. It was a puma skull. Back in 2015, TV naturalist Gordon Buchanan said in an interview, I said about five years ago that, with everybody carrying mobile phones with cameras, we will soon have conclusive evidence if there were really big cats out there. So far, that has yet to materialize. Having spent some time with big cats, I know they are expert at concealing themselves and hiding. So it is possible, but in the absence of hard evidence, I think it's looking less likely. That's not to say that people are making stories up. A friend of a friend showed me a picture of what they thought was a big cat, and I thought it looked like the real deal. He said, it didn't look like a domestic cat, but when I saw where it had been taken, and paced out the distance, I realized it probably was a feral cat, but the way the image had been taken, unless you actually went out there and paced the distance you wouldn't have realized. Reported sightings of big cats since 1980, May, 2018. A big cat-like creature is caught on CCTV by Dawn Page at her home in Oldbury. September 2, 2017. Taxi driver James Bedworth sees a big cat near Horton Wood, Telford, October, 2015. A mother spots the creature described as pure black, and larger than a normal cat while taking her daughter to school in the Telford area. 
May 2015, a big cat was been spotted in Telford climbing a fence in a garden. Witnesses believed it may be a panther. March 2014, Brecon, animal footprints found on Black Mountains, thought to be from a big cat. June 2013, Meaford, puma spotted in a field, bigger than a dog. January 2013, Brecon, big cat sighted, size of a cougar, too big to be any local dog. February 2012, Brecon, big cat sighted, the size of large dog, moved like a cat. January 2012, Brecon, reported big cat footprints, quite big with claw marks. January 2012, A4067, sighting of a large cat type creature, crouched as if to spring, in headlights it looked brown. December 2010, Knighton, large animal, definitely a cat, passed vehicle in the dark. Tracks in the snow also found two days before. December 2010, Knighton, panther sighting in a garden, large cat, jet black. October 31, 2010, Andrew Hall sees large panther-like creature near his home in Sunder Crescent, Wetness Field. September 2010, Oz Westry, big cat sighting, running, size of sheepdog. August 2010, Brecon, full eaten by suspected big cat. June 2010, Booth Wells, large wildcat chased collar, not a dog, making growling noises. September 2009, Lanadlos, large black cat sighted in field, size of a golden retriever. July 2009, Booth Wells, lamb badly injured, lower jaw bitten off, panther in area. February 2009, Brecon. Name, the Staffordshire Panther, age, unknown, appearance, feline, I've seen plenty of cats before, what's special about this one, it's massive, how big exactly, about the size of a panther, and giant cats the size of panthers are supposed to be just living in our countryside, are they, yes, the makers of Panthera Britannia declassified, a new documentary on Amazon Prime, claim to have discovered the clearest ever photograph of a big cat in the British countryside. A panther-like creature lying in the long grass in Smathorn, Staffordshire. It's probably the best photo of a British big cat that exists. So when was this photo taken exactly? According to the documentary makers who discovered the photo in the files of a zoology organization, the photo is dated March 17th, but it doesn't say what year. And you're sure that's not just a photo of a domestic house cat, but up close? No, look at it. It's definitely the size of a panther, or maybe in Smathorn. The thorns are just really small, which makes the cats look really big. You're beginning to annoy me now. This all sounds a bit like the Beast of Bodmin to me. Where does this idea that giant cats are roaming our countryside come from? They are generally believed to have been illegal exotic pets that were released into the wild after the introduction of the Dangerous Wild Animals Act 1976. Ah, the summer of 76. I remember it well. So, essentially, the animals people are seeing today are the offspring of abandoned pets. What's wrong with the odd giant cat roaming the countryside? Well, after the beast of Exmoor apparently ate 100 of one farmer's sheep in three months in 1983, the Daily Express offered a financial reward for video footage of the creature, while the government took the unusual step of deploying a team of Royal Marine snipers to hunt it down. Did they find it? No. Do you have any more evidence that big cats are out there? Well. The Amazon documentary also presents DNA evidence proving the presence of at least one wild big cat near a sheep kill in Gloucestershire in July, 2022. Hmm, I'm still not convinced, you'll be telling me that Bigfoot exists next, or aliens, they do. Haven't you been reading all about the UFO whistleblower giving testimony to the US Congress? And what am I supposed to do if I find a giant cat sitting on my lawn? Do what anyone who's British would do, shut the curtains and hope it goes away.